We're all made up of DNA. Mutations that cause rare diseases. Unfortunately, um, a lot of those rare diseases we see in pediatric patients. By sequencing the DNA of each patient, we can find where that mutation is. And that's the start of a long, scientific, and oftentimes heartbreaking road that patients, their parents, and the doctors who treat them go down in the quest to, yes, identify rare pediatric disease, but more than anything, find a cure. New discoveries today will change the course of tomorrow. Welcome to Children's Mercy Research Institute. It's a nine-story, 375,000-square-foot building adjacent to Children's Mercy Hospital in downtown Kansas City. It hosts both labs and technology desks for researchers. A collaborative space where no boundaries exist between science and medicine, uniting physicians and scientists. The electrical requirements here are complex. It's not your average mechanical system, rather a maze of pipes and wires, currents and voltages. The biggest wow factor for me from an electrical standpoint is all the power distribution that we have throughout the building. We have three separate buildings, part of the research tower, and we have to get distribution from one end to the other. And our distribution network is huge. There was a lot of conduit, wire to run, a lot of equipment, as you see. We're protecting genetic libraries that the laboratory researchers maintain. We've got minus 80 freezers throughout the facility where this is stored, and it is critically important that those stay online. We have three megawatts of generation, one and a half megawatt of UPS. The building operates in a 24-7 capacity to protect the research. That stored research will translate to new ideas, new treatments, and new medicines for years to come. And when the sun sets and the lights come on, something truly breathtaking happens. The actual DNA patterns of children diagnosed with rare diseases illuminate the city, reminding everyone in and out of the building why they do what they do. We installed about 1,200 feet of LED light on the perimeter of the building. Every foot of it carries four addresses, RGB and white. That allows for the color roll that we see in the rainbow mode. This monumental staircase, we have uh, roughly 1,300 feet of LED lighting that strings throughout the floors and on the stairs really creates quite a visual effect. When we got this project, we knew we needed a great electrical trade partner on board with us. What really spoke out is, you know, we have a great relationship with ECA and then also they have a great relationship with the hospital. If there was problems or challenges along the road, you know, we knew they would step up to the table with solutions and ideas to keep the project moving forward. ECA is one of my larger contractors. They're not just sizable here in Kansas City, but all over the country. The president, Mr. Don Funi, is also my governor of the chapter. NECA allows us to have a great relationship with IBW, not only in Kansas City, but we're licensed in about 40 states, so we work all around the country. And we know we're gonna get trained and qualified personnel regardless of where we are. Every project comes with its own set of challenges, and with that, we need to be able to communicate and work together to make sure we uh, can meet those demands. Certainly, being a father of six, it is so important that we are part of this and to our members. Uh, we not only are building these facilities, but we use them. It's actually better than we thought. It just turned out so well. It, it's, it's amazing. I'm so excited for it. Now that the NECA IBEW Powering America team has completed their job, Children's Mercy Research Institute can take what they built upon and use it to save children's lives. That's when the real work starts, you know. It's building the building has been exciting and uh, we've had our challenges, but you know, now it's here and we're ready to, to do the real work. For Electric TV in Kansas City, I'm Erica McClarity.